Being in the audience tonight was a joy for me. I was astounded at the, the house and how packed the house was. A really wonderful milestone for the company, especially in our 10th year anniversary. It's been a really exciting journey. It's been fun to see the company grow. I was at shows their founding year, so I got to go and see them and then eventually join them. Well, I was fortunate enough to have started with the company from the inception. Our first project was a small festival, I guess, in San Francisco. And now today we're at the Carpenter Center. So it's, it's, it's been a long journey, but yet it seems like it was yesterday that we just started. Doing an old piece again is kind of like putting on a pair of shoes, just the same shoes. I was able to still find new things in it, which was also great and I think helped my performance. I love redoing works mm -hmm. and I feel like every time it's going to be different no matter what. So when she gives you, especially when she's giving you new material to add into something you've already explored before, mm -hmm. it's, really, it's really exciting and, and fun and it makes it different. I think one thing that we all have in common is we like to continue pushing the envelope. It, it's fun to keep you know, exploring new options and new opportunities and developing new relationships. But I do know what it's like to go into an old piece that they created that I wasn't there for. It shows me how much Jenny's grown. She's constantly revisited different ways to approach you know, the cracking of the same nut. I have to create a piece of art, I have to create a piece of work, and how can I do it differently this time so that I'm interested, my dancers are interested, and the, the audience will remain interested. Interested as well. I remember the first day we started the ball phrase where we actually have our own individual ball and we're having to manipulate it thinking there's no way we are ever going to get this right. We have to do it in unison, we have to be taking risks, we have to be throwing it far, we have to be rolling it far, yet we still have to make sure we're catching it. It was a rough journey at first, but I feel like the from day one to now, it's another partner. She brought in a few bouncy balls. We played around, and um, eventually that turned into big red playground balls. And she came in with one bag of you know 500 balls, which grew into 1,000, and then, you know as you could see tonight, we had about 3,000 balls. It was different when you had the tiny bouncy ones that would hit you in the head or the shin or the eye and then the red round balls were a little bit more forgiving. I think it was kind of like you were dancing with a person. It had a mind of its own. It was going to go where it wanted to go and you needed to react and incorporate its feelings into your movement. I hate the balls. I physically, physically hate them. But after working with them and after hearing Jenny out conceptually, they made sense to me. They are risks. They're in your way, they're scary, they're dangerous. But as I got to work with them more and more, I began to realize that that's what it was about. For me personally, it was like there's these events and then they perish and they roll off and they, you know, something else begins and then another one's coming at you and you're not seeing it. It really enriched my performance. My take on it is that it's about trying to keep things together when you really can't and then finally realizing you can't and it's beautiful just to kind of let things go and become chaotic. The premiere we did tonight was actually, it was very collaborative. It was actually built from a lot of improvisation. We explored a lot of um, Forsyth improv mm -hmm. and just various partnering, leaning into each other and following. And I feel like that was really where the movement was developed for tonight's yeah. piece. She was really taken with kind of a graphical style. She started with the idea of color and contrast. Where it really gelled for me as far as how I understood what she wanted to do was um, when she started talking about the soundtrack and how she wanted to include the audience in the creation of the work. She would give us a clear concept and then allow us to develop it and help her and explore it with each other and the space and especially with the props. She works on a shape level where she gives you shapes to move into and then she gives you a very heavy concept that may not settle into who you are or what you're doing so you can rely on the shape and the movement and then somehow in some weird synergistic way they, they come together and at the very last couple weeks of rehearsal it occurs to you what you're doing. I've watched her take more and more and more risks over the years and tonight was, was one of them to allow this controlled chaos. Jenny really likes to know what the outcome is going to be at every moment because she is such an artistic professional and perfectionist. Well, I think I'm here to stay. To be here for the whole journey it's, it's hard to leave. I feel like this is home, this is where I want my career to start and finish. The ball piece says it all. There's options, endless options. I'm definitely sticking around with Jenny. And I've watched the company grow from such a small seed to this national recognition, and I'm really proud to be a part of it. <laughs>